Hey, what's up, everybody? This is Devil Lore, aka Lore from Tank Spot. Now, as a lot of you know, I play a Retribution Paladin as my main character. That's my main character on live servers. Um, I've been getting a whole lot of questions lately about how the ret rotation is supposed to work in 4.0 and in Cataclysm. So I thought I'd make a quick video just showing you how everything fits together. So first thing I'm going to do is go over the abilities you'll be using. First up is Judgment. Uh, it's basically the same as it is on live. It does damage based on which seal you're using. Uh, it does a little bit less damage now. It's not the, the biggest, heaviest hitter in your arsenal anymore. But that's fine because there are other abilities that fill that role now. Next up is Holy Wrath. This is actually a primary rotation ability now. It's been reworked a little bit. Uh, it actually works a lot like the Shadowmorn proc now. When you when you use it, it does X amount of damage split between all of the nearby targets. So if you're only attacking one target, it does more damage than it would if you were attacking a whole bunch of targets. Still a decent amount of damage. Uh, against a single target, it does about the same amount as Judgment now. They're, they're pretty close. So something you will be want, wanting to be used, uh, wanting to be using when you can. Next up is Crusader Strike. Uh, pretty important ability for the ret rotation in 4.0. This is your primary method of generating holy power. Uh, it also does a good amount of damage now. It's been brought up to, uh, you can see with my talents here, it's 156% weapon damage. A pretty decent amount. It's on a much shorter cooldown now too. Uh, the base cooldown is 4.5 seconds. I hope this guy goes away. Yes, he does. The face cooldown is 4.5 seconds. Uh, it gets sped up by haste on your gear if you've got the proper talent in the retribution tree. So you can see mine is actually down to a 4.27 second cooldown. Uh, that can seem kind of weird. You might not think that a multiple or anything that's not a multiple of 1.5 would matter. Uh, but ret is actually not GCD locked anymore in Cataclysm. We we don't get to use every single GCD on a damaging ability. So. Just something to keep in mind. It is actually good and it will speed up your holy power generation even if it's just by a little bit. Uh, next ability I'm going to talk about is Exorcism. It does a lot of damage now, especially when Art of War procs. In fact, the only time you're really going to want to use it is when Art of War procs because it does have a cast time still. Art of War makes it an instant cast, but it also increases the damage by 100%. So does a pretty good amount of damage. Uh, and you can actually see in my tooltip there, it does uh, an extra damage over time, a little bit of damage over time. That's from the Prime Glyph for Exorcism. Uh, it causes it to do a little bit of its damage again over time. So pretty good ability. does quite a bit of damage, so that's fairly important. Now, next ability I'm going to talk about is Templar's Verdict. This is the primary signature ability for Retribution. It's also the primary Holy Power ability you'll be using. Uh, let me let me explain a little bit about holy power first. If you see this little thing right here underneath my character frame, that's your holy power indicator. You can have up to three holy power. So uh, most abilities that use holy power, you're gonna want to get up to three holy power first before you use it. The, there really hasn't been much benefit, at least in anything that I've seen so far, to using a holy power ability without having all three stacks first. Templar's Verdict is probably the most important of your Holy Power abilities. At 3 Holy Power, it does 225% weapon damage, which is quite a bit of damage. That's that's actually quite a lot. Um, so yeah, every time you've got 3 Holy Power, if you don't have anything more important to use, uh, Templar's Verdict is the button you'll wa be wanting to push. Uh, last ability I'm going to talk about for now is Inquisition. This uh, You get this at level 81, so it's not going to be available right away once patch 4.0 drops. It won't be available until Cataclysm, but uh, it basically functions like the Paladin's version of Slice and Dice. It's a buff you want to keep rolling on yourself as much as possible. Lasts 10 seconds per charge of Holy Power, so 30 seconds with 3 charges, and increases your Holy Damage by 30%. So what I'm going to do now is just sort of go through the rotation and show you how it works. I'm going to lead off with Crusader Strike because that's kind of the most important ability. And then I'm just kind of filling in with other stuff here. Now you'll probably notice, if I can get it to happen here at some point, you may be noticing that some of my non-Crusader Strike abilities are giving me holy power. That's through a talent uh, in the Retribution Tree that just basically lets that happen. Now you also see these weird flashy stuff showing up here. Uh, there's Art of War procs, and there's Hand of Light procs. What Hand of Light is, is the Rep Mastery. It's a chance on just a regular melee swing to basically get to use a Holy Power ability as though you had three Holy Power. So when you see that proc, uh, it actually does light up the abilities on my action bar here, my Holy Power abilities, when Hand of Light procs, so, so that I know that I need to use one of them. 
Oops, I just accidentally did Templar's Verdict at 2 Holy Power. That's bad. Uh, the other thing I've been forgetting to do this whole time, probably because I've been talking and thus distracted, is keep Inquisition up. So I'm going to do that here. There we go. That'll buff up my damage a little bit more. So yeah, basically the, the way the rotation works now, is, it's still a priority system, but the priorities have sh shifted quite a bit, and it, it, it's a lot different overall. You want to use Crusader Strike every cooldown when you're not already at 3 Holy Power, just because it's your method of generating Holy Power, and Holy Power is so important. When you get 3 Holy Power, you want to use an ability, or when you get a Hand of Light proc, you want to use a Holy Power ability. Uh, Inquisition, keeping that up is pretty important. You're going to want to keep that up at all times, so I'm going to use Inquisition here. And otherwise, you want to use a Templar's Verdict for DPS. Uh, Holy Power generation is kind of random. It's not just a flat rotation because of the uh, the Divine Purpose talent that lets your other abilities cause Holy Power. Uh, it just is a random proc. So it is something you have to keep a pretty close eye on. And of course, when Art of War procs as well, uh, Art of War is actually uh, your second highest uh, single target damaging ability. It does quite a bit of damage now, so you want to use Exorcism whenever that procs as well. So I'm just going through my rotation here. I'm going to try and just show you guys a little bit of how it works. I'm still getting used to it myself, so apologies if I mess up from time to time. I can't cast that Alright, so hopefully you guys can get an idea on how everything looks when you're doing it. I'm just kind of watching for procs, watching my holy power, watching up in this corner here, watching for holy power, in this corner here, watching for inquisition, making sure that's staying up, uh, down here, watching my ability cooldowns so that I know when I need to use stuff, and then kind of keeping an eye on the middle area as well so that I know when I'm getting a proc like Hand of Light. Uh, that is something that I'm probably going to want to fix up with the UI, just because having to bounce my eyes around in all corners of the screen is kind of bad. Uh, so I'll probably do something that puts them all in the middle here. So the last thing I want to talk about before I close out this video is cooldowns. Uh, there's still there's still Avenging Wrath, it's still the same as it's always been. Uh, increases damage and healing caused by 20% for 20 seconds. The other one to talk about here is called Zealotry. Now, the way this works is it costs 3 Holy Power to use. You actually can't use it unless you have 3 Holy Power. But once you use it, Crusader Strike generates 3 charges of Holy Power instead of just 1. So basically, you can just alternate between Crusader Strike and a 3 Holy Power Templar's Verdict. So I'm actually going to hit it here, and we'll start going. So there, it's up. Crusader Strike, 3 charges of Holy Power. Templar's Verdict. Crusader Strike... Three charges of holy power, and just back and forth. I am inclined to believe it is actually better to wait and not use anything else. Maybe Art of War procs uh, while that's up. But I'm actually pushing back. If I use any other ability, I'm actually pushing back my cooldown on Crusader Strike at that point. So it seems like it might actually be better to just wait and uh, get that three stack Templar's Verdict in faster. Oh yeah. And I can summon this guy. Yeah. Guardian of Ancient Kings. He comes out, he whacks at it a little bit. Uh, you see, he actually does a decent amount of damage, and he's also buffing up my strength the whole time. He gets up to 100 strength. Uh, it goes away as soon as he goes away, but then uh, he also does a whole bunch of extra damage as soon as his uh, time runs out as well. So, uh, pretty cool ability there as well. So that's going to be the end of this little video. Thanks for watching. Uh, we'll see you guys later.